Hey guys, it's Diana. Welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to talk about adding alt text to photos on Twitter specifically. Alt text is something that provides a description of an image without actually displaying the text in the post. However, in order to do that, you need to enable some settings on Twitter first. So we're going to go to more and then we are going to go to settings and privacy. And under general, you will see accessibility. You need to make sure that composed image descriptions is turned on, that it is checked off. Otherwise, you will not see the option to add alt text. This is very important. Mine is checked off. As far as I'm aware, it by default, it's unchecked. They may have changed to that, but for quite a while, I know it, it was not enabled by default. So please do that. Next, we're going to test it and go home and compose a tweet with a photo. So I already posted this picture. You may recognize it as the thumbnail from my last video where I did the unboxing of the Animal Crossing switch, obviously, as you can tell. Now here below it, you see two options. We can tag people or we can add description. We're gonna click add description and a little floating box comes up it says, add description, describe the image for the visually impaired. Next to the text box is a little tiny thumbnail version of the photo that you're describing. So you can, you know, see what it's supposed to be better because this box is blocking the picture behind it, the full view, and you cannot move it. It's stationary. Now you have 420 characters to describe the image, which I think is great. It's actually kind of funny that you have more space to describe pictures than you do with posting a tweet. We're just going to write up something quick. Special edition Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch poking out of the Aloha edition case with the special edition dock in the background period. Now, again, this can be as vague or as detailed as you want. From some things that I've heard throughout the blind community, some people like descriptive alt text, some people don't. You don't want to ramble in it, you just want to get to the point and describe the photo. So we're going to hit done. And you can see now we're back at Compose Tweet. We have the image, we have the option to tag people, and then we have the option down here. You see that Add Description has been replaced with the description that we just wrote. If you click on that, it will again bring you to the Add Description box. So we're gonna go back. Now, like I said earlier, if you post a photo with alt text, it will not show up visually the text, it will just be like embedded in the image. So people who use screen readers are able to see what the image is because screen readers do not read images. Some websites have smart AI built into them where the engine can kind of guess what the picture is based on the scene that's happening in the photo, but it's better to just add alt text in my opinion to get your point across better. I wasn't going to post this tweet, but I think I am. So let's here type something short. It's so beautiful. We're going to add a heart eyes emoji and hit tweet. And there we go. That's how to add alt text. Options on Facebook and Instagram are pretty similar. In Instagram though, Sometimes it's hidden. You may have to go to more options when you're editing your post, like when you're captioning it. On Facebook, I think the option is more at the forefront now. I usually just type in the photo caption box what my picture is instead of adding alt text. People do things differently, but that's that's up to you. You can do whatever you want. Anyway, I hope this video was informative and I'll see you guys next time. If you like these, let me know. Maybe I'll do another one on how to make your media more accessible. But I'll talk to you later. Bye.